welcome back everybody to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel below. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get into some NBA player props for Monday, January 9th slate of games. We followed up a 9-2 run in the last two nights by going 1-5 yesterday, so that was fun. Uh, but that does make five losing nights since we started doing the Bear Pack giveaway. So someone in the community will win $50 from us. Uh, we'll be doing that giveaway Friday when we have our live show breaking down the weekend slate of games. So Friday in the live show, we have that $50 giveaway to enter. You have to be in the live show on Friday and you have to comment give back. We will take 10 random comments and spin the wheel to see who wins. So comment give back to enter into that giveaway on our Friday live show at 7 p.m. All right, guys, we have to do it. Let's take a look at last night's picks. Pete, we'll start with you. Went one and one. Jalen Green could not hit the broadside of a barn. But uh, you know what? Fred Van Vliet, he got the assist tonight just in time. Yeah, uh, I went 0-2 for me, Spain minus the S. Uh, I had Tobias Harris, who got shut down by the best defender in the NBA, Boyan Bogdanovich. He's an elite, <laughs> he is an elite defender. Send my apologies to the Bogdanovich family on that pick. And I also had Damian Lillard, who had three threes early in the fourth, and he couldn't get that fourth uh, three late in the fourth quarter. But it was good to see Dame have a good game, though. He had a ton of points, so he's out of his shooting slump. Trey? Oh, yeah. Sorry. All right, guys. I'm sorry. We got to talk about it. I, I mean, like, sometimes I feel like I'm just blindly picking picks out there. That's why I got the sleep mask in. I, I can't see nothing right now. And 0-2 oh, day, it was rough. I'm sorry about it. I, I gave out some bad props today. The Nurkic one was terrible. I said under 23 and a half points and rebounds. He, he almost covered that with rebounds alone. Mm. So shout out Nurkic, absolutely destroying the Raptors in the paint. And I missed on Terry Rozier over 21 and a half points. He finished with 19. And on the bright side, he did shoot up, shoot a literally a last second three pointer to give me some false hope only to brick it. And that would have covered the 21 and a half. But 0 and 2 yesterday, I'm still 9 and 5 for the year, but it was not a good day, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, one and five night. Let's try to turn around for Monday. Teat, start us off for tomorrow. All right. Well, I have to bring you guys a two and oh. Someone's got to. I feel like we're going to bounce back as a whole group, and I'm not going 500 this time. Uh, my first play, I'm going to take Giannis and Antetokounmpo over 31 and a half points. Uh, Giannis has been on fire, at least as of late, besides the Charlotte game. Uh, he's averaging 36.4 points over that span. And against the Knicks in the last three games, he scored 37, 30, and 38. Uh, he's been an absolute monster this year, getting to the, the free throw line quite a bit too. I think that's going to continue in this game. Uh, give me Giannis over 32 for sure. The next one's going to also be another points one. It's going to be Dematis Sabonis over 22, 21 and a half points. Uh, he has been averaging 22 points over the last five games. It's been kind of hit or miss. I feel like if he actually takes his shots and has the confidence in that game, he goes for 30, like he almost did against Utah. Uh, but he seems to sometimes play a little conservative. And I feel like in this matchup against Orlando, it's a perfect time for him to kind of come out and show out a little bit. So I'd like to see at least 22 uh, the last four games he's played against Orlando, 25, 16, 18, and 25. So let's look for a 22-plus in this one. Yeah, I have two picks as well for tonight. Uh, my first pick is going to be LeBron James over six assists against the Nuggets. James is averaging 7.6 assists in his last five games, and he really should be higher. Uh, James is a very good passer, and when he does get it to the right spot, shooters just have to knock it down. Uh, the Lakers will have a favorable matchup as the Nuggets are the 25th ranked defense in opponent field goal percentage allowed. So uh, they allow teams to shoot above 48% on them. Uh, when James finds his man, they should be able to knock shots down in this game. So give me James over his six assists. My second prop will be Zach Levine over two and a half turnovers versus the Boston Celtics. Uh, Levine is averaging 3.2 turnovers in his last five games, and it's because of his usage. Uh, he's averaging 38 minutes in his last five games. And he's been on fire scoring in his last two games. But I think Levine's hot shooting comes to an end in this game against the Celtics. Boston has Brown, Tatum, and Smart, who will make it difficult for Levine. Um, and it will cause him to have a lot of turnovers in this game. I'm going to take Levine over two and a half turnovers to have an off night against the Celtics. So my two props are going to be LeBron over his six assists and Levine over two and a half turnovers. Trey? All right, boys, let, let me put the mask on real quick and see what picks mm -hmm. come up with me. Yep. All right. Um, okay, I got him. All right, yep. I got him. 
I'm going to ride uh, teats on this one. And like we always say, we don't know what each other are bringing before the show. So it's kind of funny we both gave this prop. I'm going to take Giannis over the 31 and a half points. I don't have to tell you guys like the Greek freaks on an absolute tear recently. Even with a nine point game in his last game, he's still averaging 36 points over his last five. So he's been on a roll, putting up a lot of shots. And over his last five games, Giannis has continued to put the team on his back, responsible for a 39.5% usage rate second in the NBA, 77.8% of his team's free throws made per game first in the NBA, and 40.7% of his team's total points second in the NBA. He's been doing everything for the Bucks. I think that's going to continue against the Knicks. And let's not forget, last time he played the Knicks, he detonated for 37 points against them. It's in New York. Giannis loves to play in New York, but I think that he's going to rip the Knicks fans' hearts out in New York on Monday night. And then my next pick is going to be another uh, points one, and it's going to be, you know, I've thrown this guy out once this year, and he did hit for me, so I'm going to run it back with him. And this rookie's taking the league over this year. He's he's probably easily going to win the NBA Rookie of the Year, and that's Paulo Banchero over 21 and a half points. I'm going to have to go with Paulo in this game because the matchup is great, and Paulo is on a tear as well. Give up the second most points per game at home. With almost 120 points per game, that's a lot. And to dive in a little deeper on that, they give up almost 60 points per game in the paint at home. They cannot defend in the paint. And 71% of Paulo's shot attempts have been inside the three-point line. And 32% of his total shot attempts have been inside the paint. He is a paint monster. He is a unicorn, honestly. He can you know, stretch the floor out a little bit. But most of his damage does happen within the two-point line. So... And Paulo Bencaro, last time he played against the Kings this season, he dropped 33 points against them. So this matchup is really juicy for him. And in his last three games, he's taken over the Magic's offense with a 30.5% usage rate, 14th highest in the NBA, taking 31.3% of the Magic's total shots, 13th in the NBA, and making 42.3% of his team's free throws, 14th in the NBA. He's he's doing everything for the Magic, and and I like that to continue in Sacramento and shut down the light the beam chance. <laughs> I like that pick, Dre. So six picks for you guys tonight. Let's try to flip that one and fry from yesterday and go five and one tonight. But let's do the parlay lock before we end the show. Um, I'll start with LeBron James over six assists. Trey? Come on. That's not his name, Jesse. What's his name? Go James over six assists. <laughs> Heck yeah. See, you, you know, I'm – I'm the one who makes the graphics. You can tell because I'm a huge LeBron fan. I put Goat James in there. But I'm going to go with Greek Freak over 31 and a half points. I gave the stats why. He's going to be on a tear against the Knicks, and I like that to continue. Deeds? Uh, yeah, give me the Sabonis over 21 and a half for sure. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this is going to be the game where he's going to have to uh, have his usage up, get more shots off, and definitely going to come out and start to just drop some buckets in. All right, guys, that'll do it for our Monday, January 9th NBA player prop picks. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our Locks of the Week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.